Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to the Lads Footy Show. I'm your host, Sebastian. I'm here my co-host. Hera. Yo. Breaking news. And Papi rejects Real Madrid. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Best day of my life. You guys agree with this decision? With Mbappe's decision, I don't know. It could go both ways. You have to People. look at. You have to look at it. You have to think about your future. I mean, it is three hundred million, and I'm pretty sure Madrid would have paid him somewhere around. It was gonna be the same. The same thing. It just PSG um, apparently offered him some decisions and the all, business all, aspect all of, that, of it. All of that stuff that they promised him is, I think, that's stupid. He's he's not nowhere near. Like the level of where he needs to be, like and with his mindset at least. Yeah, he's only twenty three. Picking, picking managers, letting the manager like or letting the hierarchy How? know like who he wants gone and who they want <laughs> to buy and all that shit. I think that's stupid. Yeah. This is a terrible decision from the board at least. But I mean, you they agree they, with him staying at PSG? Um, yeah, because he's not a Madrid. Coming from, from a Barcelona. Bi- no, a biased, from no a career standpoint. wise, like as a player, do you think that's good for him? It can go both ways, as in, yes, he did the right decision, but also, no, he did the wrong wrong decision. Because, mm-hmm. look, he's, like he said in the interview, he is he is now the face of PSG because Messi is obviously soon to be gone. Not just PSG, France. France, that's why, right. yeah, yeah. And then Neymar is soon to be out the door. PSG need that star, that cover, and Mbappe will be that cover of the club, of the league, of the national team for years coming in, so... How could they afford to lose him? Because think about it. Di Maria is already out. Messi will soon leave. Neymar will soon leave. If they get rid of Mbappe, you know, who? Who's going to be that face of the, of the club, of the league, of yeah, everything? They, they tried their best to keep they him They tried there. the best. But as a Madrid fan, I said if he stayed at PSG, it wouldn't hurt me. But yeah, as a player, career-wise, why why stay at PSG? You're, I highly, highly doubt you're ever going to win the Champions League there. I don't think PSG will win the Champions League. Probably if Zidane comes, maybe there's a chance. But this year was his chance to go to Madrid. And as a Madrid fan, I don't feel like we should ever go for him again. I mean, after all the negotiations that happened with both teams, I don't. He, I feel like he feels like he's bigger than the club. And I, yeah, he no, had he had a lot. Should, of, this was the year, and he should never. I be. hope so for the board, for the fans, for the team, for the players, for everyone, and the, just to like last minute say nah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's it, though. That I, club, I don't ever want to see him in the Madrid shirt. That this. club is like falling apart because they just sacked Leonardo, their sporting director. Um, it's, similar, it's similar to like the Galacticos back in the day because the Galacticos, let's be honest, they weren't that good. They won like two league titles in like seven, seven. Yeah, years they were. They were on like a drought, that. like UCL and then yeah. like league titles. They just. It's the same thing with this, yeah, with this PSG team. It's just a bunch of superstars, a bunch of egos, and it's not. It's never gonna work. Even with someone like Zidane. Which he has coached a lot of egos. Not that Benzema is an ego, but the BBC, the that front line. I feel like he will improve. It will be an improvement. No, yeah, it'll definitely be an improvement but because Poch has never dealt with something like that. Yeah, he had his Spurs players and whatnot. Yeah, uh, we get to this then. No, I, w- I want to keep talking about Mbappe. I think <clears throat> PSG had the chance to get what a hundred million last year for him, mm. and they didn't let him go. They forced him and they forced more him. More than 100. More than, yeah, maybe like more than why I, I actually forgot it was. And it was deadline day, remember? Mm-hmm. But he obviously rejected Madrid. And that was a big mistake for Madrid. For for Madrid, obviously not getting him. And at that time, like going in and persuading him earlier and harder, like how he's, uh, Betis did right now recently. Because they could have, PSG could have cashed out 100 million. Yeah. And, and, and they, they waited have. for him to, come for free you know mm. and there was a year of conversations negotiations trying to convince them and within a year uh, maybe it's a lot of time you hoped that that front three was going to deliver the ucl yeah That's they wanted to did. see how what it would yeah. what it could have done because if you went to madrid it would have been the biggest what if oh imagine if messi and bobby and Neymar played together <clears throat> but and they didn't they didn't keep in mind um like because football is not just about playing the game it's about like your emotions and all this, all this psychological stuff. Like Messi yeah. isn't happy at PSG. Like he was never going to perform to the standards that he was at was Barcelona. Expect, yeah, that's true. Um, I, I just think it's ridiculous because they could have sold Mbappe for like 150 million, 100 million, whatever it was. And they could have put that money into different parts of the team. Um, I think it's the toxicity of PSG that is keeping them from advancing to the next level, which is winning the Champions League. Because you see players like Paulo Sarabia at, at Sporting this season. He had a really good season over there. Yeah. Um, it's just it's national just call up again. Yeah, it's just PSG. There's just a toxic club. 
it's for me it's more of like a fashion club that's why yeah yeah the jordan Jersey, all that yeah, all the, the collabs like do, that yeah. it's more of a fashion club it's kind of like not saying like um like it's to this extent but like arsenal how they have a lot of like retro releases of all that <laughs> like that that's cool but like you guys need like the teams need to focus performance on currently yeah, they need to perform on and the going back to all that do we actually see, you know, Mbappe winning a Champions League with Madrid? I mean, with PSG? No. Nah, no. Nah. Never, never. No. I think every season, at the beginning of the season, they're always favorites because they always buy players. Like this past season, they bought. I, I um, think he wants to solidify himself as the greatest French, French player, player of all time. Which is, he's already in the round. He already has the World Cup. He's going to be the, I don't think he's the top scorer of France yet, or is he? I think Cavani still has a little so. more. No, he's not. He's not the top scorer of uh, club League yet. one? Yeah. No. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to not get. Yet. But he had a crazy season with numbers. Past three years. But this year, 35 goals, 24 assists. Mm -hmm. just that's that, unreal. He's stat pads. That, that and I think he's going to go into maybe he's at the top of every category, maybe. For the club, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I mean, only looking back at it, it's only three years. Three-year contract. Yeah. He's still only 23. And this was it though. And this might not even be his prime because most most prime for most players come to twenty six up, mm -hmm. twenty six to thirty. Mm -hmm. So just imagine what he could do within these three years and whatnot. Yeah, but I don't think the doors are closed for, for Madrid. As a fan, I would want it. To as a fan, it's mixed yeah. emotions for us. Especially as a with how fan, Vinny is, and then he's barely twenty one. He's just gonna improve. Like yeah, everyone was imagining that that front three Mbappe. Yeah, Vinny, but at the same time, Benz. how was that gonna work? Because you have Mbappe's players, best position is left wing. I, so I, I agree too. He's I one think of the best players in the world. He's gonna, but you can't. You can't just drop Vinny right wing. like that or move him he's somewhere gonna, else. He would yeah, but right wing. I it's not like you're right putting Vinny from left wing to right back. You know, or left back. Mm -hmm. He's still obviously in attacking areas. Yeah, but left wing and right wing. Don't forget, Mbappe played right wing for quite some time in his early with yeah early days his seven, 17 18 season and you can see his stats are and he was improved solid. once he moved to that, those left. those first knockout games in the in the quarterfinals in the champions league united or whatnot mm -hmm. solid solid and if you think about it mbappe and benzema could have been like switching throughout the throughout the game like mm -hmm. benzema over to right wing but with the striker that would have been interesting to see and i didn't even know that uh liverpool were actually in for mbappe that there was Talks and conversations with that. Imagine oh, yeah, him at the prem though. Yeah, I don't Mbappe said. I don't believe it, bro. He's bullshitting because he's ever since he used Madrid because that's what basically what he did. He came out saying AC Milan is close to his heart. He was saying that Liverpool is his mom's favorite team. <laughs> yeah, he, he did use mention Madrid. A lot of clubs. He's just bullshitting. Like it's, it's <laughs> nah, annoying. but there's no way he can't go up to a camera and just lie. There's no way. I mean, I don't know. It's all media. I don't know. I don't believe it is all media. That is true. So he lost like how many followers? Like. He lost like 80,000, 90,000 no, followers, 700,000. Like he lost 100, 100,000. Yeah, yeah, oh, then I got it confused. Yeah. I wasn't following him, so I wasn't worried. Hey, were. Hell no. Hello, lying. I didn't follow him, Bobby. I follow him anymore, not Bobby. Damn. But, all right, let's move to the next part. Before the UCL preview, um, some the best goals of the season in the UCL. We did one for the Prem, and some people were asking for the Champions League. So, let's get into it. Um, yeah. Who wants to go first? Well, you said our combined 11, right? No, the goal, goals, goals of the year for the, oh, goals the, goals of the year, year for the Champions League. I'll start off with goals. give us one. Sebastian Thiel versus Real Madrid. <laughs> the goal that the goal that at the at the Bernabeu. Yeah, that, that, that was their only loss. That was a banger of bro. the year. That shit crazy. It was a banger. It was off the half volley. It was like in the way eighty seventh minute or something like that. That was a winner, huh? Mm. That was a winner. That is Tres true. Was top left. The technique for that goal was. Remember, I remember when they were all hyping Sheriff up at the beginning of the season. That shit was crazy yeah. though, like because they were like no club at first. They were first for like two or games, second. Yeah, that wasn't real. I don't even. I don't even know where they're from. Fuck. Neither. <laughs> I think they're, they're from Greece. No, they're not, no, from, not Greece. from Greece. That's, I, uh, I mean, um, I don't know. I actually Olympiacos. Don't know. I forget. <coughs> I forgot. Yours? My first one. Hmm, I'll probably say Ronaldo versus Atalanta away. The, when he tied the it winner up. or the tighter? Yeah, the tight. Where he like was across the, the 18. Uh, and then far when, post. Uh, I think Greenwood lost it and it went in the air. Ronaldo finished like with far the post a cross goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good ass finish. Far post. Man, Ronaldo. I was getting so a haircut when I watched it. I went crazy with Kiki. This was funny. <laughs> it was Kiki. But yeah, it shows his um his clutchness. <laughs> Several times this season. Villarreal. Man, crazy. He's gonna be Atalanta sick. At home. He's Atalanta gonna be sick in the Europa League next That's season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one? one of my favorites uh has to be uh, Lautaro versus Liverpool in front of Virgil van Dijk at the Anfield Stadium. It's kind of, he's hit it the same way as uh, the sh sheriff guy he did. Yeah, but 
The only reason I don't like that goal is because it was out of his ass. Yeah, but nah, he no just way. turned and shot it. He didn't. Oh, I'm gonna put this top right. It was a bang. You miss, a, you miss half the shots you don't take, and he he oh, had Van yeah. Dyke. He had Van Dyke in front of him. It's not like he's gonna sure. beat him in a one v one. He no. took the shot and he banged it. <laughs> Unsavable. Yeah. And that goal being that that game, be the only game, the only team that actually beat Liverpool this season at the Anfield. You got another one? Yeah, my second one is the one. Thiago goal versus Porto. Oh yeah, I had that one too. Oof. The banger, the one where like oh levitated barely off the ground. The technique, oh, the, the technique goal looked fake, bro. Goal. Like a FIFA goal. That's, That's actually a Puskas nom- uh, nominee. Yeah, for sure. The, just the technique, the silkiness, the, how we just like, like an airplane it, it, it elevated. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it went through the, tons all the of techniques legs. to hit it. That's yeah, so much swag. Tons of legs to go. To uh, go I just the thought of another one, but um, I'm saying Marco Asensio versus Inter Milan. Oh, nah, I like the Tony Kroos one better. The Tony Kroos was yeah, a but one. that's a good Asensio, shot. Asensio, that's that's his signature shot, isn't it? I've seen it too many times. That's why. Yeah, and he scored one like that the league game after that. So yeah, but Asensio re- top left. The, the oh Tony Kroos one is boy, finish off better. the game. Every game he gets subbed in, he he gra- he gets the ball, he turns and he just shoots and cuts in and shoots. He's, what he's good no, at for his first goal. Long having shot, first long shot, shot merchant. Other games are always a goal. Yeah, I think he had like six or seven long shots, long shots this season. He's a merchant. Yeah, you, can merchant. Do. you guys got no one or not? Yeah, I got a um, Messi versus Man City at the Party Prince. The counter attack. Oh, the attack when he yeah. uh, Mbappe, uh, Mbappe laid, it laid it off first time. First pole. Oh, what like a was goal! Far mm-hmm. post, but and he hit it with the instep of his foot and it went to the. Uh, that goal. Was, I remember watching it live, and that goal was beautiful to see. Beautiful. That and you know it's a good goal when Messi scores and he like actual actually sprints to the corner flag and like <laughs> is like roaring and fucking yelling and shit chills chills uh, chill, literally literally bro and i was like i think that was his first goal for in the champs yeah or one i don't know no, i think he scored a brace that game he scored a brace <laughs> against man city no? no but that was the first goal that he, that was the first goal of the game that was the did. second one of that game he scored i don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember but, but I, I remember it being i remember the captions be like oh messi finally got his goal mm-hmm. and it was a goal like that versus Man City, crazy goal. I, I think that's one of my favorites. That game I got one more. I'll go after Seb. Yo. You don't got another one? No, I don't have another one. My, and then our, my last one, uh, Vinicius versus Shakhtar. Uh, literally the remake. Ronaldo. Of Ronaldo Shalke. 2014. <laughs> it, it was crazy because as soon as it happened, I'm like, bro, I just recorded flashbacks. another goal and then I sent it to our group chat. I was like, bro, this is literally the same. Flashbacks. Yeah, but Vinicius completely shagged. What a season he's had in the Champions League yeah. season. Hopefully it gets in his sister's school. And when you mentioned Puskas earlier, Mario Balotelli this past weekend. <laughs> oh my God. He did crazy. like literally, 10 step overs and then wrote both. Literally pro post. clubs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But the way he did his step over, like, <laughs> like where, fast. Where I didn't think he had it. From he had a player who's I didn't out think, of it. Yeah, I didn't think he had that in here. He 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 he's right playing now. in Turkey. But he did like 10 step overs, went to the left, and Rabona far took and the It's so game. nasty. Bro. And he scored five goals that game? Yeah, I was going to say, what was five, it? The score like 7 0 already or something like that? Was, yeah, he scored five. Man, that shit was nasty. It's embarrassing for yeah. the other team. But yeah, pissed. that was our Champions League goals of the season. Obviously, there's more. Don't get mad at us. Yeah, there's several. There's too <laughs> there's many. There's more, but this is the ones we thought of. Um, Let us know what your favorites are in the comments below. Yeah. We'll go, obviously, go check them out. Uh, now let's get to the combined 11 Liverpool versus Madrid Champions League preview yes for sir for this weekend it's in like three, oh, four days. first position goalkeeper you guys taking Allison or Courtois I personally took Courtois yeah Courtois has had the season you guys crazy. Are especially for especially, especially this Champions League the saves that mm-hmm. Courtois has managed to do on Messi I think he's Messi penalty yeah. he's probably the best shot stopper in the world I don't his think height best, makes up for I don't think it, he's man. the best mm-hmm. goalie in the world, but I think he's the best shot stopper. I mean, yeah, we saw it against You Mets. said he's not good with his feet. He's very good with his feet. He's all right with his feet. Sometimes he gets he, can, he, he just, knows how to escape. But he's smart. When he just boots it like that, it's because he, he sees the pressure coming onto him. He's not like Ederson. He's going to hold it because Ederson knows he's yeah, good on the ball. Yeah. He's smart. He, he, if he sees pressure coming. Yeah, but I, I agree with Seb saying he's the best shot stopper. I mean, we saw how many saves he, he um, hosted Man City. He literally kept his... He kept his team at the score that they had because of all the saves that he had in both legs. Yeah. Except when Mbappe did him step over. Oh, that was nasty. That was, that was nasty. Yeah, but how do you expect that, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> that, was, that was nasty. Send it to the bin. But yeah, I think Courtois, Courtois yeah. starts. Obviously, just of course. Combined 11 starter. All right. Right back, Trent or Carvajal. I think we all have the same answer here, but mm. Trent. I have yeah. and, but if you guys say by far you guys are wrong because Carvajal I think Carvajal is one of those players one of the best players of this generation 
Um, I think him as a right back, he's not really like um because he doesn't have the crazy flair. He has no or, specialty to him. Yeah, but, but he has the, all around. He's all around. He's he, he always works. Like he has he tries balls, so bro. Hard. Yeah, he has he balls. Has terrific integrity ability as well. He does yeah, have he good crossing too. I mean, the goal, uh, I think it was Rodrigo's versus Man City. He crossed yeah. it, right? Yeah. He's had so many of those in his career. Yeah. He just crossed Plenty, it. plenty to Ronaldo. Ronaldo Sienna. Yeah. yeah. He was just against you. Trent, Trent, man, this season, we can't forget his crazy, you best know, right balls. Mm. This season, best right back in the world. Yeah. 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 I think crazy it was season. the TikTok, the cheating Gito guy. <laughs> he he was doing a combined eleven. He chose all the all Madrid, Madrid players. players. Yeah, but that's stupid. you get when you're biased and you're Madrid. Yeah, like Soria too is gonna choose all. the Yeah, but Soria players. Soria despi- is, despises Madrid <laughs> except Soria. Courtois, right? <laughs> he loves Van Modric. And Modric. Yeah. All right. Uh, first center back, Konate or Militao. <laughs> I Konate or Militao. Konate is undefeated. I think they're really? both. I think they're both um, clumsy at times. Both of them. really yeah, quickly. Yeah. Really quickly. If I was. If I was Jurgen Klopp, I would start my tip in this game because oh, yeah. he's better one on one. He's better than Konate one on one. And if any passes Trent in this game, which he's gonna do a lot, I guarantee you. Well, we'll Konate, later, Konate is in the Champions League team of the season, speed. though. Yeah, no, I know, I know. He's that's why he's been starting. Konate the Champions League has a recovery speed, but I think he's way more of a threat in a set piece and a corner yeah, kick and yeah. a free oh, kick because yeah, all the goals that he's scoring had, a lot of set pieces two legs. this year yeah so in my in my position in my obviously in my opinion I would pick Konate I know I pick Konate but I I would rather have Joe Matip personally but mm-hmm. because well, we'll if see, it isn't we'll broke see. don't fix it cha- yeah because he's right. playing in the Champions League I pick Konate yeah, yeah. but well, it was Prem obviously Matip but I mean over, combining over Militao. though Militao and uh, Konate uh, Militao Militao yeah, I'll do Militao too. He's had his decent games at, or whatnot. He's, uh, he's just, I mean, we can't forget that Konate, Konate had a easier, obviously, opponents to go up against other than mm. comparing Militao to Militao. Militao has had against the, bro- the best to the best P- attackers. Um, PSG's front three. Yeah, the Madrid run this season is crazy. Bro. Yeah, so we got to all give it to Militao for sure. All right, so next we got, center we got back. three Madrid players in. Yeah. Next center back, Alaba or Van Dijk. Van Dyke clear. Van Dyke easy. Yeah, clear. Alaba has been. He's been. Been, he's been the. He's been good. Uh, he's I been. I feel like he's been the we, the weakest defender from Madrid this campaign. This is debate. I think it's Carvajal. This no, season. I think Carvajal is. I think season? you could debate Carvajal for Militao for, or Alaba, either or. Carvajal has had below average first leg games, mm. yeah. but the second leg games. I think everybody. Way different. Everybody in the second leg has been crazy for Madrid. Yeah, the it's Van, it's Van Dyke. unfortunately. Yeah, Van Dyke. I think Van Dyke's the. No, I actually got to think about this before I get shagged. Van Dyke's probably like fifth best center back of the de- generation. Probably higher rank, to be honest. But Van Dyke is so good. I think there's a certain aura to Van Dyke that you're just like, he's he's a beast. He is a complete beast, man. But you know how many center backs or have played and that we didn't witness day to day, like how we witnessed yeah, Van Dyke of this generation, mm-hmm. like 2010 and up. Oh yeah, 2010 yeah. and up. I I agree with you. Yeah, he might be I like with you. off of five. Of this but, decade is what you yeah. meant. Okay, all right. Left back, Andrew Robertson or Ferlan Mendy. Ferlan Mendy. Uh, Andy Robertson. I it's not Ro- far though, to I be honest. Ro- uh, I think you have to you have to take in mind that Ferlan Mendy is really injury prone. Um, he's really just, he's been inconsistent this season. But when he's on form, he's really good. Andy Robinson, I don't, I don't remember uh, the last time Andy Robinson had a shit game. No, he's a solid, left solid, left consistent left as left always. Left. His set pieces, he has his everything. corners, he, the he has so many. He has assists. He has everything corner, as a left back. Everything is Any, left back. Anything you need. Super solid. Big I wish, fan. I wish I had a left back like that because Alba. Whenever Alba crosses the ball, it pisses me off. It always yeah. goes first post to the first defender. Uh, I think Robertson. Yeah, Andy Robo. I think sure. Robertson's gonna be one of the biggest starts in the final. We'll, we'll get to that right now. Who's yeah, going, I'll say Robertson too. Who's then. He going against Carvajal? We don't know. Carvajal. We don't know yeah. if Rodrigo's gonna start. We don't know if Valverde's right mid. Bro, um, I don't even. Yeah, I don't even know who's gonna start. First Next. part. First part of the midfield. CDMs. Fabinho or Casemiro. Ay, Casemiro. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is funny. Shout out to I'm, I'm gonna tag him, bro. <laughs> uh, um, Fabinho Casemiro. Um, I surprisingly chose Casemiro over Fabinho. Bro, he Why hasn't got a, a red card this year. Surprise, so smart. Oh, so what a smart. miracle! What a miracle! No, but you Madrid actually look player. back. He hasn't really deserved a red card. He has. Man one City. Game. What the fuck, Man City? No, nah. he had like three nasty was, ass tackles in 15 but the, minutes. 
one it was for yellow but none of them was like okay yeah second yellow right there red if uh, it was a uh, if it was a uh, mark oh no oh, fuck i'm trying to f- one of those give me, give me a premier league ref uh for granite jacket right now my uh, paul tierney would have <laughs> my oh, paul my tierney would have given Jacko red oh, in the first half news but yeah anyways getting yeah, off topic it. um casemiro casemiro's more complete he's always done it you yeah, think casemiro's more complete under- than fabinho Casemiro is more I complete think, than Fabinho. I think Fabinho is more complete, but I'm saying Casemiro. Yeah, but was Casemiro defensively, com- Casemiro is clear, but Fabinho on the ball, oof. I'm like, oh, and his long shot ab- ability. Mm, I like, I like Casemiro. Yeah, I, I saw. I mean, if if this was Rodri Casemiro, I'll say Rodri. No, I would still say but, Casemiro. Nah, Casemiro is wait, so wait, different. Wait, wait, you guys, you guys have missed when Casemiro doesn't play. Oof. Madrid is dog shit. Yeah, like that ass. Because these are only like. Ball CDM, winner, CDM, ball CDM, like winner. actually, um, like tackles, right. slide tackling, rules. everything. Uh-huh. Casemiro, you? Casemiro, yeah, sure, Casemiro. Well, I thought you were gonna say Fabinho. All right, uh, Jordan Henderson or Tony Cruz? This is a good one for Seb. I think this one's easy because Cruz has been miles off this season. Oh, I, I chose say, Jordan I thought, Henderson. I thought you were gonna say Cruz. I chose Jordan Henderson, and everybody knows I don't like Jordan Henderson, <laughs> but what he does for the team, he's a captain. Don't know ball, man. Don't know ball. <laughs> Did you choose Tony Cruz. No, Henderson. I chose Cruz. Cruz this year has been so off, man. I don't know. You can I, say, I "Oh, you." Um, it's, he's underappreciated because he's he's one of those players that just gets the ball, gets keeps possession. But actually, watching him when he gets subbed off, Madrid turn yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So Camavinga, we see with Valverde, we turn up. But and it's sad because he is gonna start on, on Saturday. I think that has to do with just the change of the change of pace when you when you sub in Kamavinga for yeah. But it's every game, which is so but remember game. when Kamavinga Rushed goes it. in, it's not just Kamavinga; it's also Rodri, it's also mm. this player. But in the midfield, yeah, that you is could true. Tell the big difference. Mm. But uh, I'm gonna say Henderson because when we haven't seen Henderson play from for Liverpool, they they look s- off the midfield the struggles. They don't have the ball. They feel like they're off of it, like the VR games. Mm. But yeah, I love Tony Kroos a lot. I'm a big fan and. I don't know. I just this play his play style. It's literally me. I think he's outdated. But uh, Jordan Henderson, Jordan Henderson. Me too. Mm, I also chose Jordan Henderson. He's too important <laughs> to that Liverpool team. Mm, All right, on. next center mid. Uh, which one? Should we take Keita? It's because Thiago picked up an injury, so yeah, it's, I don't think he's gonna Fabinho? play. Fabinho, Thiago, Keita, or Modric. Oh, yeah, let's talk about this afterwards because there's a lot of shit that can happen on before. Saturday. Let's say Thiago then. Let's go, Thiago. Thiago Modric. Thiago Modric. Modric. This is I Modric's think, best season in his career, my opinion. This take. season, I think Thiago came out and said that Jurgen Klopp taught him how to run because this season he's been all over the field. Yeah. Thiago. Yeah. Uh, well, remember yeah. what happened last season? Thiago yeah. was it? He, he, he was He was yeah, off. Yeah, he, he, needed time. Yeah. He, he needed to adjust. Mm-hmm. That is, maybe Klopp too. He's been running because he can, most of the time he picks up the ball from the center backs where he gets really close center backs and he can distribute, play those beautiful passes on the floor. We see every Cross weekend, field. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But... Modric, you can't overlook Modric. Best, yeah. probably the best midfielder in the world. I mean, season. those Modric and Thiago are the engines going uh, forward mm-hmm. for both teams. It's that's what this is why we put them in the same comparison. But I mean, what both of them do for their clubs is out of this world. And like he said, say what you say, say your hot take that you're gonna say. This is Modric's best season in his career. And if 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 we win the UCL, it. No debate. What about his Ballon d'Or season? <coughs> his Ballon d'Or season was shit. No, it wasn't shit. It just mm. wasn't. The World it Cup just wasn't him. clear. Like, oh, he's yeah, that Ballon d'Or. The World Cup I feel like it was a good him. season. We've seen more of Modric this season than what we saw when he won the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. But you right. can't say it was shit. It was a really yeah, good season. Yeah, I mean, still. but look, he take, a, like take away really. take away the World Cup. Say the World Cup was played a it's year just after a before. Season. Just a good season. A average. He, he won the U. He did the one the UCL. Don't average call me. Good. Don't call me. But I'm pretty sure he had two goals and three assists. Like seven, yeah, seven, yeah. He, seven assists. All comps I remember. Right yeah. But even to this day, right now, Modric doesn't have the best numbers. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Yeah. Right? yeah but just it's like just his like his Chavez, presence yeah. on the field. You know, mm-hmm. it's not not everything is about numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I th- I'm gonna say Modric. All right. Let's get to right wingers. Rodrigo or Salah. 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 <laughs> Salah. Probably one of the one of the easier ones. But also we can't, you know, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, you know, it might, it might not happen or not, but Rodrigo could be a bigger player than Salah. In this game. In this game. Yeah. And after the 80th minute, yeah. It depends. And you never know. Rodrigo, yeah, could, be, Rodrigo could be the MVP of the damn game again. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> but Salah. I mean, yeah, it's to be Salah. One starts every game and balls and scores and assists almost every game. And Rodrigo has his moments. Salah needs to turn up this game or else it's a... Uh, yeah, Salah needs to... Because he, he said, oh, I, I want Madrid. I want Madrid to be not cocky. <laughs> yeah, shit. he needs to get revenge. Come on, huh? 
He's lucky he doesn't have to go up against Ramos. <laughs> or Ramos and Salah are yeah, lucky. Casemiro still, though. All right, strikers, Sadio Mane or Karim Benzema? It's obviously Benzema, but Benzema. Mane's season this year. A shout for the Ballon d'Or? No, yeah, definitely. Him Not a Salah. shout, but he a is shout. A, he's like no, a top. A shout. He could be top Salah. five. He could be yeah, top five, and I wouldn't be surprised. And also depends of if he or, has a game and he and wins it. if he wins it, yeah. You know, that's a treble. He beat his own teammate to two. Uh, he beat him to the African Cup of Nations and he knocked the qualifier. Not going to the qualifier. Yeah, for the World Cup. Mm-hmm. And plus his, his numbers this season for Liverpool have been solid. Very good, very good. But I think we all have Benzema. Yeah, he's a AKA Ballon d'Or winner. Yeah. Future Ballon d'Or winner, yep. I, I think the next one is interesting, but... Interesting. Left, yep. left wing spot. Um, Luis, Luis Diaz or Vinicius Jr.? Similar. I like it. I like this. Yeah. I like this matchup, but yeah, they're kind of similar. But I think once I think once Diaz adds more to his game because let's be honest, we all know what he's gonna do, but it's just so effective. Oh, oh, so you're I saying you're saying he's predictable, but you just can't stop it. But you can't. I think they're finishing. Some, it's similar. No, I'm not comparing them, but it's similar to like Robin. You know, he's gonna cut it. Robin, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the thing Diaz is, Diaz is gonna receive and cut to his right. Yeah, but the same shooting ability. No, no. Wait, 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 who, wait, who, who? They both. I don't. I don't. Wait, who? Vinny, I don't think Vinny it was clear. Diaz? Yeah, they have the same no, shooting don't. ability. I, I don't. I, I think Vinny's a better finisher. Long shots, Diaz. Yes, because he that's he tends well, to do he that does, all game, yeah. but he misses like yeah. He he rolls out straight at the goalie all the time. He said like Robin, but Robin no. Robin would cut in. Far post curler. Mm-hmm. Diaz cuts in, he just shoots it. Mm-hmm. It's just straight bullet. Mm-hmm. He's every gonna time, hope it goes every in. time, he's just gonna hope he's gonna get in, or he's gonna get a bounce off the it's goalie. And, Omar. Right, <laughs> that is true. But <laughs> both players are so fun to watch. I mm-hmm. think, I especially would this sh- season, and I think maybe just like how we just mentioned Thiago this season, um, what a turnaround compared to last season that he had because he adapted obviously mm-hmm. under Klopp and whatnot. Same thing, maybe even better because Diaz. Look, he's already been at Liverpool for a couple of months and he looks already outstanding imagine when he has adapted to the league and whatnot and has the club instructions of how to move and whatnot so no, I, I chose Vinny though yeah Vinny's yeah, just Vinny. crazy numbers gonna, <sighs> Diaz is gonna be so we're gonna have to watch out for Diaz especially Carvajal because he's been struggling to defend this season all right and then the last position last spot the managers Klopp or Ancelotti Klopp Klopp just got a Klopp. Premier League manager of the he's season a, Klopp's more of a manager than Ancelotti if I ask Ancelotti Explain. what his tactics are he's just gonna tell me pass the bottom in Zema hopefully Rodrigo he, goes in second those aren't, he's won five five um, that's back then though. yeah but he's we're, we're talking about right now right season. now Klopp. Yeah, he's won the league this year I know but yeah, but yeah thanks to was, Barcelona's uh, I, yeah, shit it's because the rest of the league is shit no Real Madrid was gonna win regardless let me rephrase that the rest of the league isn't shit but Barcelona were off it Atletico, Atletico were off go. it. Sevilla were on it at the beginning of the season. They dropped off. Betis were going to win. Let's be honest. Yeah, but how many points do we compare? Have? I don't even think you guys reached ninety points to be honest. Eighty-seven, I think. Because we we won the league like almost like what three weeks ago. Yeah, but with the, like one of the the low past sure was a really low. The points games after that don't try no more. Eighty-six points, not even ninety. Mm-hmm. No, but club. I mean, club. Club is a. Actual, you could see his his style of play of management mm-hmm. with attacking high up, quick release the ball, quick fullbacks in forwards into strikers. <laughs> Ancelotti, I take he has a he has a midfield, but with Ancelotti, whichever team he's in, he always had just off the quick. start. Oh yeah, that is true. That is true. Look Everton. at Everton. Yeah, that is true. Look at Madrid. Look at Napoli. Bayern. Yeah, and then with Klopp, uh, it took him all this time with Liverpool, with Dortmund. Uh, he won the league with them. Almost got relegated his last year. Remember? Oh, uh, I don't who? remember actually. With who? No. With Dortmund. Last year he almost. Oh, he, they God, finished relegated? like. They were uh, seventeenth. The, that the, 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 they finished Europa though. I believe they finished Europa. I remember they finished like low as hell though. I don't remember. There was a point where they're like they were relegation zone. Damn, I don't remember actually. <laughs> but I, I have club. No, I'm playing Chelotti. But why Ancelotti? Because of those five. But leagues. this no, I'm talking about right now. You're mentioning history manager. books. That's you're mentioning history books. He's my third manager. Just ask him <laughs> if you can be on the cheating ghetto, bro. <laughs> bias but that hell, question, man. that question was for this season only. Then? Yes, yeah, the, everything right here is this season. Yeah, but I feel like with the managers is different because no, it's, it's like you have to add their philosophies and all that. Because with Klopp, what is Klopp's <laughs> philosophy? The Jurgen press. What else? High press, quick play, mm. fullbacks into f- fucking right mid, left mid, mm. f- wingers into strikers. You see how quick they move the ball, man. Mm. 
Mm. And then when they're off the ball, how quick they all run. People think they're on steroids. Thiago literally said that Jurgen Klopp pl- changes playing style because he runs more. Now. I mean, we'll see on Saturday. Who's, Ancelotti, who's what clear. do you see? What do you see out of Ancelotti? You're like, damn, damn, damn. I think with Ancelotti, I've, I know with Ancelotti, I've said it before. I think he relies a lot on per, on His player, on player uh, performances, individual performances, and abilities. but you can't you can't be a shit manager and make use of no. You, no you, one's you saying you can't, shit. Yeah, you can't no have, one is saying you can't shit. Have no tactics. But I'm saying Klopp is more of a actual manager in a way of his style of play and management with his players and club and his staff. You know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good debate. But Ancelotti has, Saturday, we're gonna see. Yeah, I mean, and I wouldn't be surprised if Madrid and Ancelotti get another damn fucking Champions League. But you know, this is their ninth, eighth, final, eighth, eighth Champions eighth League in since 2014. No, 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 their fifth in nine years. Fifth in nine years, I think. Eight years. Fifth in eight, eight years. And then the last 16 finals, I think, in Europa League and um. The UCL Spanish They have all been Spanish teams Against English teams Spanish teams always come up on top Yeah Liverpool's last Three or four exits Have been Spanish teams And I think the last time In a final The last two finals That they've played Against each other I think Madrid won The last one And Liverpool won Against Madrid I think in 1980 Something like that Yeah In 1989 Something like that Like 21 years ago I think All right, Last part The actual the UCL final preview Preview. Liverpool versus Real Madrid Stade de France What can we expect From this game a lot, it's man. It's a final. No one's an underdog. Everyone's going to be at their Madrid best. Are, are we the expecting underdogs. goals? Madrid are the underdogs, 100%. You, you well, can't I say there's so, no underdogs. but it's a final. I feel like both teams are going to be really, like, I think structured. both teams so. score, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it can't so be too. worse than the Tottenham final and Liverpool. No, hell no. Worse. Watch it be worse, though. No, no way. I think there's too many players like Luis Diaz and Vinny that won't allow this game to be like that. There's, there's too many good players for this game to end. Zero zero, mm-hmm. like Trent. obviously individual abilities within players. Mm-hmm. We can we can mention how because of Trent's ability and forward prog- progression would allow the space for Beanie. So that could be a goal from there. But also, also, but also penalties, free kicks. We saw we mentioned corner mm-hmm. kicks from um from to Konate. Penalties that obviously happen m- m- most yeah, of Konate the finals. Konate starts to be suspect, so. Gotta watch out. Also, Same if with Vinny doesn't like drop back as he should and he gives Trent too much time on the ball, we all know what Trent can do on the ball. Yeah, because you know how many both teams actually do a lot of put the ball in 18, crossing, mm-hmm. get a rebound off it, find a <laughs> shot, you yeah. know, quick, quick shooting and whatnot. Ah, man, I don't know. All right, prediction nah, or what? Nah, not yet. I, not yet. No, we, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Madrid sit back and absorb the pressure for the first. 80 minutes, 70 minutes. Man, I can't do that. I think Liverpool that's allowing too, too much. Too, many, yeah, too much of a threat. Because they have a threat in the midfield and their fullbacks and their, their attack, obviously. Because even, l- too much. even three, four years ago, when was the final against Madrid? Liverpool, Madrid? 2018. They're two way different teams because that, 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 team even that final Milner. was kind of boring if you think about it. There's and Trent was young. Carious mistakes. Yeah. A Saudi Omani goal. Yeah. And then the bail, the bail. The bail. The bail, that, that yeah, that game had a lot of and eh, Salah got injured. Few, few moments, mm-hmm. and we, they had, I think was it extra time that they went to? <coughs> no, I think bail? Madrid won. No, no, Madrid won because it was two one. Yeah, two K. Yeah, but when like, when, did, when did Bale score that? What minute did he score that? Like seventy. I thought it was yeah. like it was so, seventy, oh, okay. seventy something or eighty mm-hmm. something. But <sighs> Liverpool, man. <sighs> man, going back to Liverpool and their attack. We I know we mentioned oh is City's attack too much for Madrid. But I mean, this Liverpool team and your attack is just as good as Liverpool's attack. And Even the goals, the there was a, there were several goals that Man City scored on 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 Madrid. The first leg and the first, the yeah, second the first leg. Yeah, but look at the chances, goal line clearances. Yeah, and one but left. fuck, I feel like mm. it's gonna be tough. I think hopefully Tony Cruz doesn't let us concede a lot of stuff in the midfield. In the what if time. what if Camavinga were to start? Or Tony Cruz. I don't think. Would that be a surprise? No, I think, no he's better off with impact. Yeah, but would that be a surprise? Though? Yes. Even uh, though he's had a really would, last yeah, he's had a big impact games. in the Champions League. Maybe I feel like it will be a. I very would be more surprised if Gamavinga starts than than Fede. I'd rather have Fede in the midfield over. I mean, Fede has been starting though. That's. We wouldn't be surprised think, if Fede I starts. I think he's gonna start right wing. To yeah, be honest, I mean, so. and they're probably gonna play like a four four two. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I don't Rodrigo. think maybe may will because Fede does have the speed to go if, up the if play. Tony Cruz gives him a ball over the top. Now the, the that s- and that's another it's another physical player that Madrid have within set pieces defending off the ball. You know what's mm. what's interesting is the Madrid squad list. I wonder if they're gonna call up Hazard or Bale. 
into the team they're recently. They haven't. Bro, they're gonna no. call a bail. They have to. Bro, no, it's because I doubt. I imagine if Bale you, gets subbed in. Bale has only played like five games this year, <laughs> and three of those they weren't even like being a starter. He came on versus uh. He started against Villarreal away. I'm I remember. trying to think of some players that's that are like that. Like they just have like. Like you play the big because, game, yeah. the big games, they will make something out of it. But imagine the story if Bill gets yeah, something in his story. Scores. No, imagine another winner. He gets against Liverpool again. So Literally, straight, statue bro. at the Bernabeu, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no, that's Papa would never do that. He shit. has Papa to. Well, never. all the fans should get a petition for that, man. <laughs> bro, another UCL final. He goal? scores and it still pulls out the golf. Wales in that order that Bales. order That'll and now with Hazard no I don't think Hazard will play I probably not Hazard I, I see more of Bale there's a lot of people yeah. saying asking us if Bale are gonna play is gonna play but I don't know man what about Maybe Marcelo Marcelo, if they're up, if they're up, if they're up by two or three goals in the last three minutes, maybe get him if we're down too if we're down he might get subbed in we saw that against um, Chelsea yeah we saw that against Man City mm. I mean, Marcelo can always put that perfect ball in. But yeah. we can't forget that two years ago, or was it last season, when Madrid knocked them out, they had Nat Phillips and Ozan Kabak as center backs. Yeah, it was a way different team. Yeah. It's a way different team. And Thiago wasn't good. <laughs> That's That was a game that you said that Vinny started. Yeah, and Vinny two, started two, goal, two goals were over the top. Right? Vinny's was over the top, chested it down, beautiful volley to the bottom corner. And I, I can't remember the second goal that he That's scored. what Cruz needs to do this game. Yeah. But well, I, I don't think... Konate and Van Dijk are going to allow them to do that like they did against two under 23s, under 24 center backs. Yep. And the final's going to be unreal. And it's crazy how it's the last time, obviously, apart from the last time they had the final in Kiev, uh, the final before that between these two clubs was in the same stadium. Yeah. It's not the France. 80 something. 81, I, I think. can't remember I what remember. it was. But that's yeah. crazy. Like, this is the storyline and everything of that. I'm not even like, I mean, it's barely, what, Tuesday? I'm not, even, I'm not nervous, but I feel like over the days you will get I'll fucking get shaky. Probably Friday, but what do you guys expect? Let's get into predictions. Predictions. Seb, you go first. Um, I think it's gonna probably end one all, and they're gonna go to extra time. I feel like I'm gonna be so off. one 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 all, and they're going to extra time. And, when, and then who won? and then fuck, I don't know. Look at me shaking. I I I mean, Courtois is a better shot stopper, a better penalty stopper than <laughs> Allison. So I think I'm. Oh, uh, I, if they go to penalties, Madrid is going to win. Yeah, Courtois is too good. If they go to penalties, Madrid is going to win. So uh, Madrid's going to win after a one all draw. They're probably going to go to penalties and Madrid wins in penalties. Like, but but that's if they go to penalties. They don't go to if they go to if they don't go to penalties, Liverpool's going to win three one. Three two. Three two. You just gave me three scores. <laughs> I don't, four scores. One, you gave me one, one. one then which they go to penalties and Liverpool win. Or Man City. Ah, fuck. Madrid wins. Then three, one, three, two. Three, two. Win. That's my final. That's my final. All right. You want me to go? Yeah. Uh, I got Madrid three, one. Simply oh, because I mentioned that Madrid don't need many chances to put goals away. To put, get some goals in. With Especially three chances, Benzema. two chances, the goals will come. Especially Benzema. They, they're not like Man City where they need 14 shots on goal to score two, you know. And like I said, um, uh, Real Madrid just don't lose finals. Mm. They don't lose finals. <laughs> oh. When was the last time they lost a damn final? I don't think I witnessed. Probably like a super, I don't think I've, yeah, I've never witnessed Madrid. Madrid. The fact that final. they don't lose finals and the fact that they're in a Champions League final, that's literally, they're the king of this damn competition. The route that they've gone through, they're just gonna top it off, right? I hope Very they don't. Top. I hope they don't. Now, so I I, I have a three one, three one Madrid. Wait, but, who do you think scores? Um, Benzema scores for sure. Benzema scoring two goals. <laughs> oh, that'll be crazy. And I think oh uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe a midfielder. Hopefully, I'd like to see Modric score. What do you think it would be for Liverpool? You said three one. Liverpool. Kind of like Robbo or some shit. I have no idea, man. Probably a set piece, Van Dyke or something. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, it's because it's really hard to predict who's going to score in these <laughs> games. The but final. Um, sometimes you just got to realize and see how good this damn Madrid team is and the way they've been. They're in not this competition. that good. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but they're now. not that good, but they beat all these damn teams. They don't. They put the ball in the net. Mm-hmm. When it's like the one guy Chiringuito said, he's, he's a Barca fan. He's been mad all year. And then after we beat Man City, he's like, man, who cares? Yeah, They're I mean, I, I, ass, I, I support. I would want to be ass and be in a final. Who cares? Yeah, I'm in a final. Exactly, exactly. Like, okay. look, look at look at the past 
four to five years semifinalists in the Champions League. They've been from Ajax to Lyon to Villarreal, you know, teams that you wouldn't expect to be in this in the in the last final four at the beginning of every Premier League uh, Champions League season. But you're in the final, and Madrid's in the final. And they're not going to lose. <laughs> Before the start of the season, I didn't expect Madrid to even make the semifinals. Probably yeah. semifinals, maybe. I thought probably they- quarters at best, but. Um, this whole season, all those memorable games, I'll never forget my life. Um, we have to win this game because then all that will literally mean nothing. Literally, I'll go say shit if you guys lose. Dude, there's been too many moments this year for us to just lose the final. Like, there's a lot of pressure on us now. Uh, with Liverpool, I feel like the, it would have been a lot more pressure for them if Man City managed to slip the league because that would have been the quad, quadruple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they would have had way been more pressure. They would have cemented themselves yeah. as the greatest British team of all time. Maybe team of all time. Uh, <coughs> prediction? Fuck, I don't even know. <sighs> 2-0 Madrid. Wow. Yeah, 2-0 Madrid. Maybe, maybe? possibly. Oh, it's because Liverpool, I see them scoring, but... I see both teams scoring. Maybe yeah. 3 1, 3 2. But I'll say final score 3 1. You said 3 1, 2 yeah. 1. 3 1. And sc- who scores for Madrid? Benzema 1. Modric 1. And Vinny 1. That'd be, Bro, idea. Yeah. That'd score, be the ideal. Oh. Yeah, that'd be the ideal. You think there's going to be three different goal scorers? I don't know. I think I saw still, I still Ben scoring too. But for another reason as to why I think Liverpool don't win this is because I feel like Liverpool haven't convinced me enough. Versus certain teams. Um, yeah, yeah. Real having their starting lineup and Benfica being outplayed in the first at Benfica, Benfica had, had a couple of goals. Even, oh. in the, even in the Premier League this season, um, Leicester struggling against uh, Wolves at home in the final day, you know. Newcastle too. Newcastle they beat Newcastle, but they don't Yeah, but these are games where they, they seem to struggle mm-hmm. and, and under whatnot. But Madrid too. Madrid Madrid in the league, in La Liga haven't been all fucking outstanding. Right, but again, this is a whole different competition. This is the Champions League. Yeah, we also can't forget that all of them, or most of Madrid's comebacks, other than Chelsea, have all been over two legs. Yeah, and they received uh, Bernabeu. Yeah, three times. As far as uh, Liverpool, obviously the one. In, I mean, it is considered the treble if they win. But I don't even know what to say, bro. I hope they, these guys don't win, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm praying that you don't win. Was your um, mention to many? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not confirmed. Not confirmed 100%. <laughs> but I mean, I, I've, I've been called this. I mean, you Why? called Mbappe too. Beto, <laughs> you can't call true. something that didn't happen. But Beto was like, no, Chamini wouldn't go to Madrid. Why would he go to Madrid? Yeah, he's more. He's uh, French. Bro. And it's Madrid. Yeah, we're, we're going to get into this Chamini thing. Yeah. Uh, chamini has been supposedly rumored into signing a deal with Real Madrid. For I think 70, 80 million bargain to be honest, bargain even 86? before he's even played uh, a game. yeah I mean eighty six too could, many yeah but you no, can see how I've good he's no million. I've seen forty nah I've nah. seen forty like forty six of his buyout clause yeah forty would be a bargain be a bargain oh eighty six is fair 86 price million. fair fair price we had a friend of ours that said um why would he go to Madrid. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he go to Madrid? That's the real question. Why wouldn't Chouamini go to Madrid? Yeah, why wouldn't he go to Madrid? He asked, why would he? Like, bro, come on. Being French, a a French, the French and 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 Real Madrid go way back. It's like, it's like um, something that French people look up to to play for Real Madrid. It's just like legendary from Makalele to playing. Oh, so many in Zidane, you know, that they just look up to him and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But with him, I think it's going to be complicated because Casemiro still. He's he's not declining yet, so he's gonna have to he's work his way around. Too. Yeah, but the thing is that Madrid wants to wrap these players up yeah. for Liverpool or whoever buying or whatnot yeah. come in and swoop them up. Smart yeah. business, if especially if they have the money to do yeah. it. But yeah, they're they're stacked on money right now. They especially all these bonuses for, that they get from winning. Yeah, because the past four knockout games. After we bought Hazard, that was I the think last. We, we got Hazard time. and Jovic the same year. Jovic was expensive too. Mm-hmm. After that, we haven't really been. Buying anyone expensive. Yeah. We haven't been on the Como, radar. Como, Como Bingo was about like 29 million. Yeah. It wasn't nothing now, huge. that's a steal. Now, that, that, I agree. That was, was a steal. A steal. Yeah. And we didn't have to fight over anyone for him, so. Because he yeah. sucked. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Please look forward to the reaction video. Please make it go viral again. Get us to one. 
to 3 million views, whatever it is. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comments. Give us new video ideas. Give us new video ideas. You know, so the seasons are over. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see in the upcoming videos and whatnot. And go follow oh, yeah. our personals on social media. Yeah, we have, we have uh, Instagram. In the comments. But first, in the make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, man. That, is, that We appreciate that a lot. Press the bell notification. And stay tuned for that reaction video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.